hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing amazing so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this effortless look straight out of the box with no customization guys like i didn't do anything to this unit but just cut the lace so if that sounds like something you're interested in please stick around to the end of this video thank you So today's video is sponsored by Love Me Hair and this is the box that the unit came in. They sent this reversible two-sided um, satin bonnet, an elastic band, a wig cap and this is how the unit looks straight out of the box. It's a 5x5 closure wig and it comes with an elastic band, an adjustable strap and also some combs. Now this wig does not come pre-bleached however I feel like they actually did some plucking to this unit because the hairline was very seamless of course you can do some more plucking if you want but the goal of this video is to basically show you guys how this wig can be worn straight out of the box because sometimes i'm a lazy uh wig wearer and i know there are a couple of people out there that just do not want to do much with their wigs right so we're going to be putting this wig to the test so of course i highly recommend that you have a flyaway tamer so that you can shape and mold your wig and also a hot comb i would link everything in the description box if you're wearing wigs these two things are very important because it just basically adds some extra oomph to your wigs um so yeah i'm basically just uh flattening out the top and making sure that um, all the flyaways are tamed honestly guys this unit didn't have any flyaway at all so that's a plus now to cut the lace it's very easy i know it's quite scary sometimes cutting your lace but i highly recommend that you use a um, eyebrow razor because it gives that jagged cut as opposed to a straight cut using a scissors um, and you're just going to pull on your lace and just go in little motions um, and that is basically it guys as you guys can see this hair is already looking lush so I'm going to use my elastic band to secure it whilst I comb out the curls. Now I highly recommend using a wide tooth comb to comb out any curls um, just so that it doesn't disrupt the curls too much. And as you guys can see it's a little bit frizzy and messy but don't worry we're going to fix all of that. So you want to make sure that you comb out every single curl. Um, this hair actually did not shed at all. So I really appreciate that about this unit. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's in 20 inches and it's the chestnut brown color. I would link this unit in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to be adding my anti-frizz serum from Garnier just to, um, you know, make it like less frizzy, if that makes sense. And I'm only using one pump and one pump is a lot so you know you don't want to weigh your hair down with all the oil and then after that I am going to kind of like um, twist the curl in the direction that it it would naturally um, sit if that makes sense I don't know but yeah you guys see in the video how I did that and for the parting space as well I highly recommend you define it so I'm using my um, powder my pressed powder to define the parting space and guys it just took this wig from 80 to 100 as you guys can see like it totally covered all the knots i think this unit is a heishi lace because of how easily it blended into my skin um and again in terms of the sizing it's actually really really good i have a small to medium sized head and this fit me very well initially it was kind of big but i just kind of like adjusted it and it sat better on my head guys look at this hairline i didn't pluck i didn't do anything to it so at this point i was like okay love me hair you guys really did that especially with their lace the hd lace wigs i think honestly they have one of the best hd lace wigs i've ever tried um so yeah back to what i was saying about twisting the curl in the definite in the um uh direction that it's supposed to fall as you guys can see i kind of like toned it down it's no longer frizzy and messy at the ends just with a little twist and tuck and curl now i i just felt like it needed some layers so i went ahead to cut some layers but honestly you don't have to do this because this is another daunting process for a lot of people this unit ha actually has an option of um bangs so if you don't want this unit this particular one or if you don't want to cut bangs you can actually just purchase the one that has bangs and it's already layered for you yeah of course when i wear this unit i personally will add some curls to her but i know curling hair is something that a lot of people do not know how to do so the aim again of this video is to let you know that this wig is a good straight out of the box wig 
And as you guys can see, she is absolutely gorgeous with no work done. Guys, it took me like 10 to 15 minutes to install this unit. And as you guys can see, the volume is a lot. It didn't have any smell. It didn't shed. This unit is 100% 10 out of 10 for me, guys. I also didn't apply any glue to this unit, guys. So yeah, please check the description box for every single detail. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you all in my next video.